Namaste guys, in this video we are going to make this mechanism. So let's start. First click on assembly, click on OK. Now go to your design library, click on toolbox, click on add in now. Click on NSI metric, click on power transmission, click on gears, select the spur gear. Make sure that the module is 2, number of teeth is 20 or let's reduce the number of teeth. Let's say number of teeth is 10. Ok. Now click on OK and close this. Select this face. Press Ctrl plus 8. Now right click on it. Click on Sketch. Click on Convert Entities. Select this inner circle as well. Click on Convert Entities. Press Ctrl A, press Ctrl C to copy the sketch. Now click on here, click on part, click OK. Select the front plane, click on sketch. Press Ctrl V and go to the features, click on extrude. Extrude up to 10 mm, click OK. Press Ctrl plus S and save the gear name as per your requirement. Small gear, let's name it and close it. A question might arise in your mind that why I am not using this gear. The reason is that when I will save the assembly and use this, uh, my whole design library will run. So I don't want it. That is the reason I am not going to save this. Okay. Now that is the reason I am making separate parts. Click yes. Now go here. Click on spur gear. Again import it. Now this time increase the number of teeth as per your requirement. I am increasing up to 40. Or let's say increase up to uh, 50 is fine. Okay. Now click on OK. Select this face. Click on sketch. Now go to the click on convert entities. Again select the inner circle, click on convert entities. Press Ctrl A, press Ctrl C to copy the sketch. Uh, close this and exit the sketch mode. Click on here, part, click OK. Select the front plane, click on sketch, press Ctrl V. Now go to the features, click on extrude post space, thickness is 10 mm, click OK. You can save the part as per your name requirement, uh, big gear. And after that, select this face, click on sketch, press Ctrl plus 8. Now I'm going to make some groups here. So enter the number of groups requirement as per your requirement. Okay. So basically I'm going to use slot command. So you can use slot, slot command as per your requirement. Okay. Uh, it's not like you have to copy the same slot dimension as I'm doing it. Uh, so, so make it as per your requirement. Uh, so select this slot. Escape. Select this point and this point. Make it horizontal. Uh, give it a distance as per your requirement. And give it a distance of 20 mm and let's decrease the radius let's say 30 mm and increase this size let's say 5 mm escape select this point and uh, just okay just leave it after that what you need to do is or you can also define the angle uh, let's say the angle is 70 degree and after that what you can do is click on here click on extrude cut click ok and what you need to do is go here click on circular pattern Select the center of it. Now 
increase the number of cut to five. You can increase up to six again up to your requirements. So okay. Now press Ctrl S to save it. Now close this and delete the sketch here as well as the gear. Now assembly, go here, click on sorry, uh, just select the front plane. Uh, but we are going to use electro onwards. Uh, currently, I don't want to use it. First, we are going to import the part that we have made. So click on browse and import the parts that we have made. Select this one and just type gear. So select this part and this part by pressing Ctrl and click on open. Now first we have to do defining mates. So what we can do is select the front plane or before that select the right plane, click on sketch, press Ctrl plus 8, draw a simple center line, escape and exit the sketch. Now what we can do is click on here, select this and this line, make it concentric, click OK, select this face and select the front plane, click OK. Similarly, uh, we have to make for something for this. So what we can do is uh, just move this gear aside here, uh, select this face, press Ctrl plus 8. Uh, select the front plane, click on sketch. So I know that this gear has module 2 and number of teeth is 50. So it means that uh, 2 times 50 is 100. So 50 mm from here. And this one is module 2 and number of teeth is 20. So 70 mm. So I can make it anywhere up to distance of 70 mm. So draw a line. Make it 70 mm. I'm using simple concept, not something high physics or something else. Just using simple engineering thing. Not 70, uh, 60. Uh, okay. Let's say it will be here. And just to know, I saw this design on internet. I don't know what is dimension. I just simply saw on internet I thought I can make it and here we are that's all so exit the sketch mode select this face and by pressing control select this point click on concentric okay and select this face by pressing control select this face click on coincident uh, select this face press control plus 8 now as you can see this gear is also perfectly aligned so I don't need to do anything else. So let's define our mates. So go here, click on mechanical mates, click on gear. By the way I have a full course on SOLIDWORKS for beginners who want to learn all these things. It is absolutely free of course. Check out the link in description. And if you want to learn about advanced things, animation, motion analysis, you can check out my Udemy course. Link is in description as well. Select this face and this face now here you can see the teeth is 10 by 10 so this is not the thing we want so here the teeth is 10 it is correct but here the teeth is not 10 it is 50 click ok and close it now press select this face press ctrl plus 8 now if i try to rotate it you can see i am getting the correct results so this is basically what i want now let's make other parts remember the first part that we have made here accidentally so select this part click on edit components select the front plane click on sketch so first we have to make some rectangles let's make it 25 mm as you can observe, it is quite small. It is not a big because every dimension is mm. So yeah, it is very small thing. 
but again you can make it bigger as per your requirement it's a easy one not a difficult one so you can do it 25 divided by 2 I am again repeat, repeating that I doesn't have any dimensions of it I am just making it roughly so that's is the thing and I want to do this 5 times because I have 5 slots click ok after that click on here and trim all the necessary lines Uh, features extruded uh, let's say 20 mm uh, before the extrusion let's add some fillet to make it you know little good design click ok and go to the features Reconnect to the boss base 20 mm click ok now I have to create some uh, cuts here so what I can do for that uh, let's see uh, first select this face click on sketch press ctrl plus 8 uh, so I can draw something like this yeah now what you can do is select this one click on construction geometry and 4 mm uh, select this line uh, first select this line make it horizontal and after that give it a distance 10 mm and this one is 5 mm I am again repeating that I am just looking roughly don't expect that I have exact dimensions or anything else even I don't know what are the dimensions etc uh, mirror about this line ok sorry my bad so select the line which is with respect to which we are going to mirror after that select the uh, lines Click OK, go here, click on extrude cut, uh, increase the distance up to here, click OK. Now we need to, before I go further, let's select the front plane click on sketch press ctrl plus 8 draw a simple center line here escape exit the sketch mode and in features go to the circular pattern select the center line select the features we want to be pattern uh, the number of distances are 5 click ok don't worry about this pentagon shape because this is not going to be shown up now exit the sketch mode edit assembly mode sorry and move this part backwards click on mates select this line and select this line make sure they are coincide with each other select this face and select this face click ok now we have to make we have done making up to this point now all the left is that one thing that will basically move in the slope okay so let's try to make it the last part uh, select the front pane first press ctrl plus 8 okay and as you can see when i press ctrl plus 8 it just moved that side and not going to lie but i like this 
So uh, whatever, so let's start the making, making thing, okay? Ignore my project. Select the front plane and select the front plane, press control plus eight. Now make a make a rectangle first of this is 20 mm make sure next time preferences is checked on else you will face problem i also see lots of people complaining that it isn't working what i'm showing lal well, it's not going to work because you doesn't copy my dimensions exactly so and this special command make sure that you copy this thing especially no external preferences else you will face a lot of problem i warn you click ok go to features extrude extrude up to 5 mm only and ok uh, now what you can need to do is select this face press ctrl plus 8 and draw a slot uh, circle shape basically give it a dimension as per your requirement let's say 5 mm and extrude up to 20 mm after that what we can do is uh, select this one I can, we can do something better select this one go to features and sorry features i said features so i have to go to feature right click on it features and select the mid plane click ok and after that what we can do select the front plane click on sketch press ctrl plus 8 now we need to draw a circle like shape not a fully circle uh, and draw the center lines like this escape give it angle so this is a pentagon so 360 divided by 5 okay i am getting error why it is basically 360 divided by 5 by 7 no 360 divided by 5 is not 90 let's check is there any kind of relations there if there is we will delete it so to see constraints click on the relations so this one is basically perpendicular to it okay, this point is not fixed as well and I don't know why it's, we can't give dimensions between them. Make dimension remains. There is some mistake that we need to see. Let's draw a center line first. Escape and let's delete this semicircle. I think there is a problem with it because it's not working as per my requirements. So, so simply what we can do is draw a circle. Now draw center lines. escape so the angle between them is 360 by 5 360 degree divided by 5 because the pentagon shape 72 degree okay and i have to add a one more dimensions here escape and select this slide make sure it is vertical both this is our requirement so it is 72 divided by 2 now it's perfect condition Trim the necessary lines, go to the features, extrude it, 
uh, mid plane thickness is 3 mm and click ok after that is this one now what you need to do is go to the mates select this face and select this face click ok now go to the mates click on slot select this thing and this slot click ok now click ok and uh, select this face and this face by mates uh, select this face and this face ok first close this uh, so right click on it click on fix because i don't want this part to will move so select this face and this face click ok and after that what we can do is go ahead click on sorry mirror not mirror circular pattern uh, select this select this one enter the value 5 click ok now select this face press ctrl plus 8 so if I rotate this you can see it's rotating and it's can, we can make it big so we can control as per our requirement uh, now we will define also a angle in, uh, distance limit because it's necessity so go to the mates uh, so let's first measure it after that we will define it so go to the evaluate click on measure uh, click on clear selections select this line and this so, no not this one so what we can do for measuring is we only define two just one and it will do the rest of the work select this face press control plus 8 uh, let's do the animation first just to know there is a special course on animation on my channel if you want to learn it uh, okay uh, on my not my channel basically on Udemy I have created a course on SOLIDWORKS animation and motion analysis so if anybody is interested you can buy buy from there it also really support me financially I will be thankful if anybody will buy click ok now select this face press ctrl 8 and click on calculate Let's increase this distance. Right click on it. 120. Don't know where this is possible. It's more. Let's in um, one of this one, I guess. Let's click on it, click on here. Uh, let's increase the distance to further. Uh, let's say 135. Click OK and click on calculate. As you can see, as I'm increasing distance, it is not increasing or decreasing. So it's basically a bug in SOLIDWORKS. So I have to do is create a new motion study and go here 
and select this face again. Now I have to define distance again. Let's this time is 120. Click OK and select this face. Press Ctrl 8 and click on calculate. Okay. Let's say it is 180. Click OK. This work I think. Now let's say it is 200. You can play with it and you can do lots of things if you want to. It's not like you have to just copy my dimensions but you can do a lot of things as per your requirement as well uh, first go here as you can see it is correct now so let's increase the fps to 30 and click on play let's remove these unwanted lines as you can see the, the lines are not showing up here and right click on orientation click on disable so we can easily view the animation so i hope you learned something from this video for any kind of doubts and queries you can always ask in the comments thanks for watching and have a great day namaste